Hi everyone. I've actually come across some really cool information. One was from a comment from my last video when somebody had said that the somebody a girl had tied herself to the net at the French Open. So I went into that and found out that it's tied to Pi and also her message saying that there was uh, 1,028 days left for us to live. Okay, so I wanted to go through that. I wanted to go through Johnny Depp's uh, TikTok message and that it showed up again in Good Morning America. And that's really cool. And so I want to go into that. And I found a link to Will Smith's slap with Chris Rock. Okay, so it's like, whoa, it's getting really crazy. So it's exciting. It's like it's so much information is coming at me. I'm doing my best to bring this information to you as soon as it comes. So you can see by the timestamp here that she did this on June 3rd. And it was at 3.18 in the afternoon. But as she walked onto the court, it was around 3.14. So that's pi, right? So it's uh, 3.14. So this is when she went out. And she tied herself to this net and held her hand up. Now, it's always about the hand because the hand has 27 bones in it for one hand. Two hands has 28 phalange phalanges and this is uh, pi as well because if you take 28 divided with 88 88 divided by 28 comes to pi okay this is piano and this is 88 is mercury's orbit 88 is there's 88 constellations in the sky 88 is like two mobius strips 88 is the sun and the moon because the sun and the moon make a pattern of the figure eight in the sky. And the name of that is called the Anna Lima. Anna meaning the year. Anna is in French and it's also the Anu, right? So the Anunnaki. It's all tied back to the Anunnaki. Now Back to the Future also uses the speed of 88 to be able to go back and forth in time. And so I do think it has to do with your mind right? Because Mercury rules your mind, your thinking. So it's also ruling Gemini, which, you know, it's the twin. So the 8-8 eight, eight again is the twin. It's Mercury, it's orbit. So it's all to do with your mind. This whole game is to do with your mind, right? And your belief systems and, and dealing with your emotions and your resentment for being fooled and all this, right? So it's under coming to the realization that this realm is really a joke and then learning to laugh at it rather than being angry about it okay so that's really what the process is of alchemy so it's just fun to do the decoding because it's just they're reconfirming all the time that this is what this is about and this is going to bring us all to back to the comedy okay it really goes back to um this life is a stage right and it's, it's just all, all of it is just gameplay I do believe once you master the two pillars of the sun and the moon and you can walk that middle path and you are in a bliss state, therefore you can transcend time. Okay, you, Your soul can retain the memory to be able to go back and forth in time and still retain the memory of this game in your next life or in um, this golden age that we hope to, you know, well, I shouldn't say hope, that we're going to go to. Because I do believe it's there's more than one timeline. Okay, so it's like once you know how to get to the middle ground, this is what's happening. There is another timeline that's happening that you're watching. So the, the key is to not get attached to that timeline. Just say, okay, that's what's happening, but that's not my timeline. Okay, and you have to keep telling yourself that because you have to open the door with your mind. You can go watch this little short uh, video that Johnny Depp did. It's just a couple of minutes long on TikTok. And for one split second, he shows his uh, playlist for his music um, performance that he did with Jeff Beck. And these are the names of the songs. But he's underlining, he squared off a few of them, but he's underlining death and resurrection. Okay, so then... The next day, when Good Morning America was interviewing his lawyers, they also showed that exact clip of him underlining death and resurrection. 
which is what we're going to do. We're going to jump time and and become resurrected like Christ. Okay, this is what you 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 came here to do. Okay, and your body is your temple, and you're a magical being, and you're able to do this through your pure DNA. Hedy Lamar was their first song, and she was a famous actress, but she was also an inventor, and her technology invented was like the the base for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I found this comment after on uh, YouTube on when Johnny Depp had sung the song. This comment saying she was a beautiful woman, extraordinary actress, and a genius inventor. Um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth frequency hopping, also used in torpedo guidance systems. What a gal! Okay, she was very beautiful, and this is the technology that she. Could Invent it. So anyhow, there's it's back to jumping time, right? Because it has to do with technology and frequency jumping. So it's like the age of Aquarius is not just about love and peace and you know the new earth. The age Aquarius means technology. It means networking. It, so it's it's really can be like robots, right? So there's like these two timelines of what the age of Aquarius really is. One is people escape and don't and let go of the Wi-Fi and all the technology and the other side people gravitate towards it. Here she is and now she was born on November 9th and November 9th is 11-9, right? So it's like 9-11 backwards but that is Psalms 11-9 that I decoded in a video which all ties into the tree of life which the queen just activated, right? So there's that. Um, and then she, she died on January 19th, and this ties into the French Open message from the girl tying herself to the net. I'll get into that. So I'm just kind of showing you how everything's tied together. But January 19th is also 119. Now, the other songs were Isolation, Time, What's Going On, Let, Let It Be Me, Little Wing. Little Wing just kind of blows my mind because the first time I ever heard that song was when my late husband sung it to me. And I just loved it. You know, he did the Sting version. And uh, I just it, that's just weird that this is on this list. Um, and then the next is Death and Resurrection. Okay, so Death and Resurrection is the, the song that he underlines in the video. Okay, so it's like the main one. And you've got to check out the lyrics. It's like a mind blow. Death and Resurrection show Killing Joke. Mark out the points, build the pyre, right? Which is fire. It's like, assemble different drummers, light up the fire. Put on your mask and animal skins. Illumination, illumination. Listen to the drums between each beat, each beat of the drum. Oh, beloved mother of liberty, hold me in your arms. Burn, burn, burn brightly. Burn, burn, burn white heat. Ascension is basically evaporating into a new reality, right? So it's like a burning. It's like, and I think with the sun activating your DNA, somehow you, you know, you kind of <laughs> disappear in, in, a, in a different uh, form of uh, frequency or radiation. So it's like you're burning out of this realm. It's also represented with the phoenix, right? You're burning. So, and the day will come before the lights go out. Who will you turn to? Who will you turn to? Choose the crucifixion or Osiris slain. Recurring themes time again. So it's always like somebody, you know, gets death and resurrected, right? It's the reoccurring themes all through cultures. Illumination, illumination. Oh, how ingenious the centuries of lies. Ezekiel's chariot streak across the skies. Holy books and history texts forgot because we know souls are recycled in the death and resurrection show okay so they're saying we're basically recycled right our souls just you know and then you get reborn and then you can see it that way or you can see it as ascension you know you do go through this death process and you resurrect in in an ascended way okay so it's all about keeping your memory that's all that this is all about, right? It's just like being able to retain memory through the process. This is what Dan Winters teaches. He's, you know, it's all to do with phi and, uh, you know, golden ratio time plank. This is how the math is. It's all ties to math. 
O beloved woman of liberty, come to me. Everything I'm taught amounts to naught. Everything I learn, the fire shall burn. Notions of myself that I'm not, whoever I was is now lost. Oh, how ingenious the centuries of lies. So they repeat the whole thing again. And this is all repeating. Burn away all my impurities. Hold me in your arms. Um, yep, it's all just repeating. Burn brightly, burn white heat. Okay. Holy books of texts forgot. Because we know souls are recycled in death and res in the resurrection show. And the album is called The Killing Joke, right? Because death is a joke. It really is. You have to let go of this thing like, oh, my God, you know, my body's going to die one day. You have to just let go of that because that's what keeps you uh, trapped in fear and, uh, you know, um, grief that you cannot get to this higher state. And therefore, you're not able to ascend or retain memory through death because you're always like in a, a lower state of emotions. Now, there was this uh, thing that happened with Johnny Depp when he was a character, Tonto, and a Native American character in The Lone Ranger. And the Native community criticized it because he didn't have, like, Native blood, which is just an actor. I don't know why he had that Native blood. But anyhow, there was an honorary, he was honorary son by LaDonna Harris, a member of the um, Comanche Nation and making him an honorable member of her family, but not a member of the tribe. Depp's uh, Comanche name given at his adoption was Ma Wu Mei, which means shapeshifter. Okay, so he's being able to jump time. And then they have the Dior uh, fragrance, the Savage, uh, was pulled in 2019 after being accused of uh, cultural appropriation and racism because uh, he was dressed up as a Native American. But, you know, you got to go check out all his uh, ads for Savage, um, Savage, and, um, you know, just go check it out, the whole vibe of it, because it's really is to do with um, ascension in, in many ways. It's like you're you're connecting to the wild mother nature, right? And that's what you have to do. You have to go back to the roots of the Native cultures. Now, when I was digging around with the French Open thing, and she had 1,028 days is what we have left to determine the future of humanity, less than three years. It's a, you know, it's like 33 months. The countdown began on March 28, 2022, and the end of the ultimatum sent uh, by the last renovation to the government and the date on which citizens entered into civil resistance. France has been condemned by its own courts for climate inaction. The future of this country is literally destroyed. To waste time is to perish. You have to go very fast. What we do in the next three to four years, I am sure, will determine the future of the human species. Okay, and this is Sir David King, a former scientific advisor of the UK government. Okay, so, so they're basically saying the countdown started on March 28th, not the date that she went out on the court. So March 28th to, um, you know, 1,028 days later comes to January 19th. That's the death of Hedy Lamar, it, which I do believe it's just because it ties to the biblical text of Psalms 11.9, right? Which is all tying to the, it's, it's all in order. I did a video on it. Um, showing how it's all in order with the tarot cards. It's all in order with the paths going down the tree of life, okay, on the Kabbalah tree. So the Bible is connected to the Kabbalah on, on Psalms uh, 11, 9. Okay, so, uh, and this comes to 33 months and 22 days, okay, so from March 28th to this date. So you got the 3322. Two. You have to remember 33 is, is the the calendar of the lunar calendar and the solar calendar when they align it's every 33 years. And you also have 33 vertebrae in your spine. And at the end is Atlas. Atlas holds up the world. So your mind is the world being held on this 33 vertebrae, which is your Kundalini. It's your snake, right? So anyhow, it all ties in. So now if you go to uh, March 28th, when they said the countdown began, and you go to Pi Day, 
it, it just switches the eight and the two. Okay, so instead of it being 1,028 days, which is what she had on her shirt, um, it comes to 1,082 days. Okay, so we end up um, getting um, 35 months and 14 days. Now, the day she went out on the, the French Open was June 3rd, and June 3rd to Pi Day comes to 1,015 days and this is 33 months and 11 days. Okay, so it's not it's not the number that she said. Okay, so it's not it's it's obviously not that number. So we have to go. Okay, so what is it from this date? You know, we got to the 119. I went and looked at 119. I can't really find anything that's happened in the past. There's no holidays that are really specific to that date, um, except this link to Hedy Lamar, and she's you know able. To, you're, it's all to do with frequency and jumping time. So it could be January 19th, but I don't think so because I have other information that ties it to uh, the future, like 13 days after Pi Day, which is where 1,028 days comes to. Okay, so Jan uh, June 3rd, when she went out on the court, to 1,028 days later, comes to March 27th. Now, 27 is a super important number. It's the how many bones are in one hand. Okay? And if you go 27 times, you know, 3 divided into 27 comes to 9. 9 is the number of heaven. Okay? So 33 months and 24 days is what we get. Okay, so 24 being the, the you know, 24 karat gold. It is the number of you know, the dozen, you know, is 12, 24. It's, it's an important number. It's an Anunnaki number. They do everything by base 12. Okay. So comparing the date of January 19th, this is what's happening in the sky. We have Pluto is conjunct with the sun, which is important. And uh, it's in the place, very close to the place of where the founding of the United States was. Okay, so the sun is on the founding, you could say. Venus and Saturn are in conjunction, and we know that the birth of Venus comes from Saturn, and it's happening on, you know, the ambrosia, the nectar coming out of Aquarius, right? So that's, it is an important placement. It definitely has some relevance. Pi Day Osiris is in conjunct with the sun when we had the blood moon on Pi Day in 2025 on March 14th, but here he's on Aquarius. Okay, so that's relevant as well. The moon is neither full nor, you know, dark. It's not new. So I was kind of like, hmm, it's not, you know, and I couldn't find anything in history really relevant that's happened on that day. And it, it's got to be coded, okay? It has to be coded. So the date that I'm more curious about is the March 27th because it's like the trinity of the hand, okay? So you have the hand of the, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, right? It's the because it, everything ties back to your hand, and your hand is Pi, right? So it's got to tie to Pi somehow uh, because Pi is the decode, and it's Pi is the Hebrew letter Pi is ruled by Mars, which is your crown chakra. Okay, so and Mars rules the spring, the spring uh, equinox. Okay, so. Pi Day is not quite at the spring equinox, but March 27th is like seven days after the spring equinox. And when I'm saying Aries or Mars rules the spring equinox, I'm talking about in ancient tropical astrology. That was always like known as Mars, Aries is the spring. Now, here's the moon phases in 2025. So March 14th, the Friday, is the full moon. That's when the blood moon is. The third quarter is March 22nd. So that's 322. Okay, so that's relevant. And then, because we got the 322, because that's when the blood moon's happening, is at 322. And then March 29th, which is two days after this predicted time on the French Open, is the new moon. So it's it's almost in a new moon phase, like it's just not quite there yet, but it's a it's a dark moon on March 27th. And the new moon is when you want to grow. Okay, that's growth, right? It's like it's the beginning of the growth. So on March 27th, 
Neptune is, you know, almost conjunct with um, Mercury, and Venus is would be conjunct on the wheel because it's like a slice, and she's above the the um, elliptic, but he's below a little bit. But anyhow, they're on the circlet of Pisces, which is the crown of Christ. Okay, so it's it's relevant, um, and the Moon is on the lambda uh, aquarium. So it's like, it's the Lambda star, which is right on the water. A lot of stuff has happened on March 27th in history. American Confederate President Jefferson Davis calls for this to be the day of fasting and prayer. Okay, so it's relevant to religion, March 27th. First day of the U.S. radio broadcast from a ship at sea on 1930. It was March 27th. And then Charlie Chaplin receives France Distinguished Legion of Honor. And th that, I guess, has some relevance to why they have the Academy Awards are always on March 27th. Now, of course, they have to put some dark stuff in there. So Adolf Hitler signs Directive 27. So 27 again for your hand, which was the assault on Yugoslavia. A thousand Jews were sent to concentration camps. Uh, and then uh, 1944, 2,000 Jews are murdered. Okay, so they murdered all the Jews on this day. So they had to put a lot of darkness on this day. It's weird that the Academy Awards is on this day, and it all has to do with the world is a stage. Ella Fitzgerald uh, sang the song Only a Paper Moon. World War II Operation Starvation uh, happened in Japan. 1952, Singing in the Rain. You know, so it's all to do with the rain. I think the rain is what is coming out of Aquarius. That's the way I see it always. It's like uh, the purple rain. It's phosphorus. Activates DNA. It's the ambrosia. It's urine. It's That's what Ganymedes, you know, was collecting the nectar of the gods for Zeus. And that's what who um, Aquarius is. He's Ganymede. It's the water boy. Here we have in 1957, uh, 29th Academy Awards, around the world in 80 days. The number eight again, the Alalima of the sun and the moon. Ringo Starr, of course, the Beatles somehow, are, it's his solo album, Sentimental Journey. Yeah, it is a sentimental journey. The Godfather, this was in the 17th letter post, the Godfather was in there. And so it's one of the, you know, it's obviously at one at the Academy Awards, but it's all tying into March 27th, right? What's interesting is that Marlon Brando turned down his Oscar because he didn't like the way Hollywood portrayed Native Americans. Now, Johnny Depp loves Marlon Brando, and he's done lots of impersonations of him. So in his in his own movies, okay, so. You know, it's all showing that the real way to live is like how the natives lived, connected to earth, understanding the ley lines, understanding, you know, the nature and the sky and, you know, how to manifest health uh, through connecting to the earth and all this. You know, it's it, it's we, we're totally disconnected from earth. It's so crazy. But anyhow, this is what it's all about. 1980, Mount St. Helens becomes active after one, two, three years, 123 years. John Lennon watching the wheels. That's what we're doing. We're watching the wheels go round and round. March 27th. Bruce Springsteen, he released two. Human touch. It's like, yeah, you have to have human touch and your, your hand has to touch the God. And Lucky Town. Let's hope we're getting to Lucky Town on March 27th. I have to stop using the word hope. We're going to Lucky Town. Then Forrest Gump won the Academy Award, the 67th. And Back for Good, the music, um, Take That, 1995. Now, Martin Luther King was all tied to Take My Hand, Precious Lord's song, right? I did a video on that. 
And then here in 1997, King's uh, son meets James Earl Ray, his father's killer. So they're tying that into it. Passover massacre, a suicide bomber kills 29 in Israel. So we got the number 2-9 again, which is 11-9. So here we're getting into um, Facebook, bans white nationalism. Then the, the whole Mueller thing was all tied to March 27th. And then Boris Johnson announces he has contracted COVID. Um, and he says, thanks to the wizardry of modern technology, while in self-isolation, you know, he can, he can still continue to lead. And that's what, you know, the technology is. It's, it's wizardry. It's the black magic mirror. That's what your phone is. It's, it's the magic screen. So Trump is tied to March 27th, 2.2 trillion stimulus package. So we get in 2020, so 2-2, two, two, he donates 2.2 trillion. That's the fool's card, right? Or the 22 Hebrew letters. It's, you know, it's always to do with the catch 22, right? So largest in U.S. history, signed into law by President Donald Trump saying, I, will ne I never signed anything with a T on it. Okay, now the T is the Tav, is the universe card. And here we go. What happened on March 27th this year? What did Will Smith do? He used his hand to slap somebody in the face, right? So 2022, 94th Academy Awards, CODA wins Best Film, Best Director, and Best Actress, Best Actor, Will Smith who also controversially slaps host Chris Rock live on stage. And they're just telling us it's all about the hand. Okay? And it's almost like, you know, he had to sacrifice his golden globe, his golden boy. You know, he did a sacrifice. He used his hand because Jesus, it all ties back to the hand. Okay. It, it's because of the math of the pie and the phi. Now, um, you know, the, the odd, card the hermit card represents the hand the wheel of fortune well the wheel card represents your your um closed hand or your yeah it's your palm sorry it's your palm um so it's like you you know that's it's it's always referencing the hand a lot of times it's the hebrew letters are representing the hand and the hebrew letters are actually created by the movements of your hand Okay, so that's something I want to get into, and, and I've been practicing that, and I want to help explain how that's all done um, when it's part of my classes on my school. So um, this 30-second predicted um, perihelion passage of the Halley's Comet was on March 27th. Now, here are a lot of the holidays that are represented on March 27th. So the Academy Awards, we know that. Mothering Sunday. This is very important. It's 21 days before Easter. Okay. National Joe Day, which is kind of just weird. And then World Theater Day is also a really big one. So I want to go into that. It's also Act Happy Week. You want to be in Bliss State at this time, they're telling us. It's also the Nano Days. That's technology. But what's weird is Barbara Marciniak, she always talks about the Nano Years. It was like from like... Um, you know, the mid 80s or 1988 up to uh, 2012 were the nano years. It's when technology, you know, came on the scene. So it's it's all to do with technology. And then Shakespeare's week. So this is all coded to esoteric knowledge as well. Um, then there is also a Spanish holiday. Yeah. National Spanish um, Paella Day. And I want to just briefly go into that as well. These are all really important, but I got blown away, okay, because when I started digging on Mothering Sunday, I found the huge link that ties to Dinitas, it ties to um, our DNA, it's a holiday that is kind of hidden, but it's super important, it all ties into the rose, okay, so I want to go into that, because it's like, this is all the stuff that I've been, we've been talking about, researching, and doing all the spring ritual is all to do with Dionetus, right? It all ties into the Fantasia movie. So this date ties everything, March 27th. It literally ties everything. 
So World Theater Day, they celebrate the oldest theater in the world, is the Teatro Olimpico. It's the Olympic Theater in Italy. Okay. Um, so I wanted to just, I went in to look and see what that, you know, is all about, the architecture and when it was built. And of course, it was built on March 3rd. So the number 33 on 1585. Okay, so it's this beautiful building. Okay, that's um, has like this doorway going through the back of the stage, which is like going into another realm. It's it's really fascinating. Here it is here, but you, you know it's it's so beautiful. It's you know you have to get up close and see this, but it's all made with like wood and plaster and kind of like this fake stage, but it's like, see, you're walking through the doorway down the middle path out of this illusion realm theater stage play that we're in. Okay, so this is, and of course, the fact that it was built on March 3rd, honestly, it's esoteric. This door is called the Regia, and when you translate this, it means director. So it's the Porta Regia, which is you're the director of this door, right? You are the director. And it's inside your mind is how you're getting to go through the door with your own direction and being able to control your thoughts and put them into positive thoughts. So when you look into what this passage, this road is supposed to represent, it's supposed to represent the streets of Thebes. Now, Thebes worshipped Dionysus, and they explain here that it's the immolation, which is Semele, which is his mother, and the advent of Dionysus. Okay, so Dionysus, he's on the hammer of Orion on Pi Day, when this is, you know, happening on March 27th in 2025. And, you know, this is all tying into the other realm, right? So I was like, immolation. I was like, what the heck is that? Because I don't really know that word well. And then it's, it really is a sacrifice. But look what you, comes up. It's a hand in the fire. And it's like your body burning. So this is like, it's really ascension. It's like you're sacrificing yourself um, out of this realm. And yeah, so they worshipped Dionysus. So that's what this theater is representing. It's representing Dionysus. And that's what World Theater Day is, is worshipping, is that theater. Now, check this out. On their website, World Theater Day, related holidays. Okay, so related holidays, June 6th, which is National Drive-In Movie Day. National Stage Management Day is October 10th. But, oh, look at this, July 4th. Right, the founding of the United States. It's Alice in Wonderland Day. Like, did you guys know that? Because I didn't know that. And you know, here she's with her cards, and um, you know, she's got her teacup, her speckled teacup, blue and white speckled teacup. I'm not exactly sure what that represents, but she's got the rose. Okay, and it's this is all to do about the rose and the DNA. Your DNA is a rose. Okay. And it's the Venus makes the Rosabella. Okay, so it's always to do with love and activating your DNA. Peter Stellars delivers International World Theater Day message in 2022. And they have, look at the picture they have. They have the world, and it's behind the curtain. It's on the stage, right? It's the world stage. And this is part of his message. Um, we are not living in a 24-hour news cycle. We are living in an ed on the edge of time. Newspapers and media are completely unequipped and unable to deal with what we are experiencing. So he's just, read it through, but he's just talking about how theater and connecting with people and connecting with the your emotional state in a group of people is really important. It's been done for thousands of years, and it's all about to do with comedy and entertainment and the human experience, right? And being in isolation is not, you know, healthy. He's just kind of saying that in a very uh, nice way. Um, and that, you know, theater makes you wise, patient, uh, 
and you know you have to interact with people and listening to other people listening to other people's perspectives and having an open mind but read his message it's really cool he brings the buddhist aspect into it and also saying that it's all an illusion so also we have another sacrificial day on march 27th in spanish uh, paella it's a sacrifice dish of food to the gods Okay, so some people are going to be fed to the gods, or they're going to be feeding the gods with their phosphorus that helps activate the gods' DNA. This is what I believe, and other people will, you know, sacrifice the material world to go to the other realm. Okay, so it's all choice, okay, and not to see sacrifice as, you know, oh, you know, something terrible, bad's going to happen to you. you. Your belief system is bringing you to whichever reality you choose. Mothering Sunday is also called Pudding Pie Sunday. So we got pie in there again. And this was where I got really like curious what it said Rose Sunday. Anytime you see Rose, like Melania Trump was always posting pictures of roses, like all through her Twitter accounts for years. Okay. You, I did a video on her and there was so many. She was just the rose, the rose, the rose. And, you know, then I realized it was, you know, DNA with Dan Winter work and, um, I realized the importance of the rose with Venus and everything. But, you know, now I'm sorry, is it the actual day they're pointing to? Like, it's the, it's, this is the rose Sunday, is March 27th. And it's also called Refreshment Sunday. And then if you look down here, they, it's Roselia. Okay? So it's, I was like, okay, whoa, that's a holiday. That's a ancient holiday. Got to check that out. Now, they're talking about the Roselia Festival, but they're not saying the date. They're just saying that it's, um, Rose is celebrated on various dates, primarily in May, but scattered through mid-July. But, you know, this, this site that I go on, she's pretty, you know, on, on point with the dates, and it's saying that it's on March 27th. So it doesn't surprise me that it's hidden, the, the actual date of it being connected to March 27th. So Roselia Day, flowers were associated with or offered to some deities, particularly the goddesses Aphrodite, which is Venus, um, Persephone, um, and also, um, oh, Chlo Chloris, Flora. Okay, now she's tied, yeah, she's the ties into the wind, I believe. Hmm. Okay, and then roses are fragrances that are special attributed to Aphrodite and also Dionetus. So it's a celebration to Dionetus. And also e Eros, love, desire. Okay, so Venus received roses at a ritual cleansing on April 1st. So the, and then they're saying here April 23rd. So the days are, you know, they're not giving you a solid day. And then um, they're saying it's to do with the soothe the bridegroom's mother is to do with the rose. And then, oh, yeah, down here, it's the weighing of the heart. So this is all tying back to, to Egyptian mythology with Isis and the weighing of the heart, the ceremony of the afterlife. There you go. It's all Rose Zelia Day. There's a picture of Dionysus with Cupid. Um, then they have Ariadne, right? She wears the Corona crown. And as the chamber of purple robed Hora is opened, okay, so the Hore, sorry, are the ones that receive Venus when she's born, was the Hore. The nectar bearing flowers bring in the sweet smelling spring, and then upon the immortal earth are cast. The lovely tresses of violets and roses filled, uh, filtered to hair and voices of songs echo to the accompanied of pipes. And the choruses come to Semeli of uh, the circling headband. So that this is the painting of Ariadne with the roses. And she also has um, leopards. And these paintings are all found on the Roselia Wikipedia page for the festival. So they have the Dionysus festival there. 
And then the soul of the rose. It's always to do with psyche and the rose is your soul. It's your DNA. That's what it is to free your soul. They're telling us in the modern culture as well, better than Zezra band. This is the Roselia. And she's like, she says woman that has a cape and she's like acting like she's like superwoman. Um, and she's flying as well. And then there's one clip here where she is uh, at Times Square because it's always about time and it's always about the square. Okay, the square and the circle. It's circling the square. It all ties into this. Okay, so it's like the circle is heaven, the square is earth. And time is locking you in the square. Right? And pi is always about the circle, right? So check this out. The astro there's an asteroid named Roselia, but look at the number they use. Three one four. That's pi. Right? So it's like, what? I was just like, are you kidding me? They've named it after pi number. So I was like blown away by all that. And where is she on March 27th? Roselia. She's right on the left hand of Aquarius when all this stuff is happening on the tail of the whale. Okay, now that star that she's on represents swallowing. Okay, so you got to swallow your pride and you got to swallow because pi represents the mouth. Okay, that's what the, the Hebrew letter pi represents is your mouth. So 27 times 3, which is March 27th, comes to 81. Now, this is a very, very esoteric number that I just learned really is what the meaning of Times Square is. Okay, so when you see the hands of the clocks at um, 8 minutes past 10, it's representing 81. So this is why I'm so like convinced now that this French Open protester that came out and said, you know, we have 1,028 days left to live. I think it is about the door opening. And I think it's all coded, you know, like I just showed you. It's all coded to the day of the theater, of the stage, what we're living on. And you got to be able to walk off the stage. And this is what this is all about. So check this out. This is... The clock, you know, you always see the clocks at 108. And this is all tying into how to square the circle. Okay, so 108 is 81 in reverse, right? It's 27 times 3, which, you know, always goes back to 9, which is heaven. Okay, so this is how you get to heaven is, you know, learning how to see that you have to square the circle. It's all to do with pi. And pi is the way out. So the Queen's Platinum Jubilee was 33 months and 13 days to Pi Day, March 14th in 2025, when we have this special blood moon that is, you know, opposing the Osiris Sun conjunction on the tail of the whale, which is the circlet of Pisces, which is like the crown of Christ. Okay, so that's what's happening on Pi Day. But then 13 days later, because the magic number 13, 13 it all ties to the moon, right? The lunar calendar is 28 days, right? Which is your two hands, the fingers in your two hands, the bones, um, the phalanges in your hands, your two hands. And this is tying to um, the moon cycle. 28 is this, the cycle of the moon in sidereal uh, every 28 days. And it creates 13 months. So it's all tying back to the moon. Now the moon is the mother. It's the mothering, mothering day, right? It's, you know, because the moon represents family. It's your breasts. It's your mother's milk. Okay, so it's just, it's just fascinating how it's all tying together. I'm just like, whoa. You know, so they're telling us. They're telling us what's happening. And you just got to keep watching. So I appreciate you guys sending me stuff because I didn't know anything about the French Open. Somebody just mentioned it to me. And I was like, oh, okay. So when you see stuff coded in numbers, just send it to me because I don't watch the news. I, I, I barely glance at it. I do a little bit. But I don't go into it a lot because um, I'm not attached to that emotional drama too much. But. It, you know, sometimes it comes up on my computer screen, but 
anyhow, and I really appreciate you guys uh, being interested in the school. I've got quite a lot of people interested, and we've got it uh, going here. And uh, I'm going to do a video with the first lesson, so you can kind of see it and see the format of how I'm going to be teaching. I'm going to try to get that out this week or uh, next week. And then uh, the, the first class is on June 24th, which is a really cool day because um, all the planets are aligning in their correct position in the sky. So we're going to be able to see um, all the planets at once, the five, five major planets. Right. So that's really cool that we get to see that. And that's going to be on June 24th. So which is six, six. Okay, so it's uh, 666 is the number of man. Okay? So June 24th, the Gematria, the 2022. So I don't see that as the number of the beast because I know I'm not a beast. That's the number of man. And I don't believe we are the beast. I believe we're really special and we're very uh, we're able to create the reality that we want. Now, if everybody believed that, we'd be living in an amazing world. So stay, stay in bliss and remember that around this period of time in March, you're, it's supposed to be a be happy week. <laughs> Just remember, whatever happens, be happy around, you know, March 27th in uh, 2025. Bliss to you all. Bye.